In this video, I get these LED panels working with Unify Connect. We're here and we're going to have a look at Unify Connect. So about eight months ago, nine months ago, Unify Connect was announced. It's a what they call enterprise of things. So it'll control your um, your lights and your Wi-Fi and your VPN and your little display screens for meeting rooms and thermostats and um, LED lights, which is what I have above me here. Um, even um, car EV chargers, like electric vehicle chargers, might be part of this as well. So huge potential for this Connect. We didn't know much about it other than this one and a half minute video that was put out. But now, uh, it showed up on my UDMSE. Um, so when I had the universe, uh, Unified Dream Machine Pro, the LED controller was part of it and I could control the lights and schedule and see everything in, in here. When I upgraded to the uh, Dream Machine SE, the LED controller disappeared and I was told I had to use Unify Connect to control them again, but it wasn't available for the SE. So I've been without controllers for my lights, so they're still turning it off with the with the physical switch. Um, but the controls have been missing, so that's the plan. It showed up here. I'm going to try and get the LED lights into the Unify Connect controller, and we'll have a look at what Unify Connect is, because I haven't seen it before. So you're going to come along for the journey. Uh, but that's the plan. So, yeah, mm, I know. First, first thing is obviously to install Connect. So I'm just going to click Install here. And if you're wondering why I don't have Protect installed, it's because I am using a Unify uh, network video recorder NVR and that has its own OS its own Unify OS that runs protect so I don't need protect on the UDM SE which is what this is so that's why it's not installed so um, yeah just in case you're wondering all right so that took a good six seven minutes something like that to install so now we can set it up so we're gonna try and set up connect see what actually comes up all right no connected devices detected all right um, Okay, well, we're going to set it up anyway. I'm not sure where this is going. Please turn on your device and adopt them once they've been detected or purchase new device. Okay, well, I'm going to set it up anyway. And okay, so no, I don't have any of the screens, which is what currently is being sort of pushed from Unify, I think, for Connect. But look behind it, there are three LED panels, right? And I have two of those just above me here. So, meh. We should be able to get them in there. Maybe I have to unadopt them or something. I'm not sure. Reset them, maybe. Searching for Unify Connect devices. All right. Just for a sanity check, if I go in here to the controller, we should be able to see the lights as devices that have an IP address. Ah, they're not here. Okay. Well, let's have a look at, if I then try and go to the switch, which is the office switch, my new 24 port PoE switch. Yeah, so they're here. You can see port 8, 9, and 10. There's two panels and a dimmer. All right, I don't think it's going to work. I'm going to try and reset the lights. And I'll just go back here. And then we'll try again. Right, so I'm just going to reset them, hopefully, so that they're ready to be adopted. And then we'll try again. Alright, let's go up in the attic, and we'll see if we can reset it. So, go in the office. Ooh, light. And it's just around here, and up the ladder here. Try not to shake too much for you. Oh, sound walls. And here we go, and ta-da! This is just above my office, so... I'm just going to put you there for a second, just so I can get up. It's very elephant to get up here. Wow, it's um. good thing this is not heat vision. It's very warm up here. But underneath here, then get over here. So underneath here is where the lights are. So there's one there. So I've got a toothpick here. So five seconds should be enough to hold that. 
Yep, it's flashing. You can see that light there on this side here. There we go. Flashing, so that's reset. Okay, and then we'll do the other one. Do the same trick. Trusty toothpick. And there we go. That one's now flashing as well. All right. So that will now restart and it'll go solid white and then we should be able to re-adopt them. There we go. All right. So now that's white instead of blue, which means it should be ready for adoption. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go back down again and I'll see you down there. All right. So the first thing I want to try and do is try and forget these devices, even though they're in here. And I couldn't find a help article on Unify, so let me know in the comments if you know of one. Um, but I'm going to try and forget these three devices and then adopt them into Unify Connect. That's the plan. So if I go into the first, is the first panel here, obviously LED panel 2. If I forget that, are you sure you want to forget? Yeah, okay. And in this case, it may be that I just forget what I named them and the connection with my switch. It might be that I actually don't sort of reset them, but we'll we'll get to that. Um, I'm just going to do the last one here. And if that doesn't work, then I'll press, press the reset button. But that means I have to go up in the attic and it's 146 million degrees up there because it's summer. But so be it. Um, and then there's the dimmer switch here as well. Works. See what that does. All right. So now all three of them are forgotten, <laughs> so to speak. If I look at my switch again, you'll see that I have just, uh, there we go, they're being forgotten. Oh, they're actually disappearing from, oh, they're disappearing from the ports. Interesting. Let's have a look. What do the ports say here? Port manager? See, I'm learning. You're learning with me. So let's have a look on here at the, the names of them. Office light 2 is an 8. So there's something hooked into them. You can see it here. 8, 9, 10. Port 8, 9, and 10. But if I close this again, let's see if they came back. No, 8, 9, 10 are gone. Okay. Let's then try in Connect and see if Connect can find them. All right. So I'm going to agree to that. Click Next. And then we'll see if, if it finds them. Fingers crossed. May take several minutes. All right. All right, I don't think this is working. I think I just forgot them from the network controller um, more than anything and from the switch. They're still hugged in. They're still on. You can still see the light's still here. I want to see if this, hang on a second, see if the dimmer works. Yeah. Dimmer works just fine. I can turn them on and off and dim. Okay, I'm going to go and reset them and then hopefully we can get them back in or I just won't have any lights. Anyway, see how we go in the attic now. Whew, it's pretty damn hot up there. Mm. All right, let's try this again. See if we can find them, please. Okay, that doesn't do anything either. Um, I'm wondering if Connect won't, if my LED panels are too old, I'm not sure. Okay, so I turned to Ubiquity for help. This is now some time later. <laughs> and um, they pointed me to this help article that I have on the screen here. And I did use this. I have gone through this three or four times. Um, it does say it works for Dream Machine Pro SE and Dream Machine Pro. So I was like, okay, cool. I have a UDM SE. But then down here, it says that if you have a UDM Pro, you do this, otherwise you do that. So there was no SE specific instructions. I did try the UDM Pro um, uh, instructions here and it kept failing. So then I messaged uh, Unify. They said, hey, can we confirm they are on your network? So I did that. Can we then try and run the script? Um, and guess what? Here's what happened. Here's the actual script. So I ran it up here and it did a whole bunch of stuff. Da, 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 da. And then at the very end, it goes upgrade device one of three, two of three, three of three, 
Adopt device, one, two, three, and migration successful. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so this was my fourth or fifth attempt to do this and it worked this time. So I'm not sure what bits I did differently. I suspect you need to have them um, on adopted, forgotten, whatever you want to call it, off the Unified Network, and then it might work. I don't think I did it in that sequence. But in any case, this worked. So that would be my suggestion is forget the devices and then run the script. This script is specifically for LED panels to put them into Connect. Bear that in mind. And then in Unified Connect, ready? Ta-da! I now have three panels. And uh, i got to set them up again because you can see here this one says the dimmer controls zero lights. But let's do that then. So if I go into my panel and I go to settings and I want to create a group. I want a uh, new group. We're going to call these office lights. And then I'm going to add devices. And obviously there's the two devices that I want to add in that group. Oh, actually, I need to add all three because I need to have a demo. We're going to have one group for all of them. There we go. Create that. And now that's all I have to do is it, it controls two lights. So now I'm on the office lights here. So if I go to the demo again and I go to settings, you can see here that it's part of that group. Um, and if I go to the office lights group, I can then turn them off. You ready? Look above me. Ah, exactly. So now that works. And I can change the brightness as well. There we go. Like that. So that seemed to work. So this was the, I did the long way about. I do think you have to reset them possibly, but I'm keen to hear everybody else's thoughts on how they got their LEDs in to connect. Uh, in any case, I have Unify Connect running. I have some devices in here. Now I need to get more devices. I'm really keen on getting some of the screens for Unify Connect that you can uh, integrate with the Unify network and put you know messages and stuff on there. I'm not sure what you can do, but I want to find out. Um, just to finish this off, if I look at the lights here, I can also turn them off individually one at a time. It is exactly like the LED controller was before. Um, and there's some settings here if I want to change the light. I might change the device name here. And then I can go to settings itself. And I can set up a schedule for uh, when these are on and off, I suspect. Um, schedule, I can do here plus, and I can add, you know, new event, and I can assign the group and I can turn it on and off, etc. Um, but I don't have enough devices really to do a schedule. I just turn them on and off uh, manually. And there's some system settings. We'll get dark theme, sure. Data backups is on. And uh, But now I'm good. I have a controller again. And then of course the last thing that we can also add is the Unify Connect app. So I'll just open it up here. I want to give some permissions, sure. That's fine. I'm going to allow location and Bluetooth. And then I need to log in. So when I've logged in, I choose my UDMSE. And then now the devices should be in here. There they are. So now I can control my lights through the Unify Connect app as well. But before I had to use the Unify LED app. So that's all now been migrated. Uh, I even have my groups here, office lights. And obviously I can turn them on and off with the app as well. Ta -da, ta -da. So Unify Connect, I think a ton of different devices are going to be coming for Unify Connect. As I mentioned at the start of the video, um, there's screens, there's VPN, there's you know one tap Wi-Fi connection, there's car chargers, there's all sorts. So this is an interesting space, enterprise IoT, uh, enterprise devices of things, whatever they want to call it. Uh, I'm going to watch this space and probably add more stuff to connect because now it's up and running. Yay! And I've got my LED panels in here. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you've had any experience with this and how I might have done this easier. I obviously took the long way because I was just trying to brute force it eventually, essentially. Um, and also, if you like the content, please do subscribe to the channel because this, I keep adding stuff like this and taking you on the journey of learning. Hmm, it's very good. All right, um, onwards to more tech things, but I'll see you in the next video. Bye.